After the rapture incident with the feeder a few months back, some were worried that the park would close. But the fact that incidents regarding staff members have occurred before, like with SeaWorld and the killer whale, Konoa was in luck that all it took was a large sum of money for the family of the deceased staff. If a guest had been eaten, things could have gotten a lot worse. Nevertheless, some were worried about visiting the park, and to ensure guest numbers to rise again, Konoa had one of his scientists prepare something special. But before this could be realized, more time was needed, and in the meantime, a new pen was built for a new herbivore. The cute Stericosaurus would be the latest addition to the park. Another dinosaur that people compared to the likes of the Triceratops. While the new dinosaurs were incubated, the audience could still enjoy the sightings of so many different dinosaurs and species. As the raptor incident was slowly forgotten about, guest numbers started to rise again as everyone was in awe from seeing the giant beasts. Then finally, the Stericosaurus was released. It only had one horn on its nose, but had several spikes on its beautiful crown. It was a bit smaller than a Triceratops, and therefore required multiple ones to live together as well. Their horns were quite long though, so they felt confident about defending themselves. To compensate for the rise in number of guests, another hotel was built at the other edge of the park. This would be a more budget type of hotel, for guests whose capital was not that much. Then the first steps were taken on the big surprise that Kanoa and his scientists had in store for the people. A very large pen was built, with outlook posts on either side and large areas for people to watch on the side. It resembled an arena and a divide was made right down the middle. It was publicly announced that the park would host dinosaur gladiator style matches where two carnivores would fight each other to the death. It would be great for guest number increases as people were excited about the spectacle. The Stericosaurus that had only been there for a month had soon lost their shine in the spotlight. For the first battle that was going to be held Kunoa insisted on smaller scale carnivores to test out the waters. For this, the new Suchomimus was introduced, a fierce looking predator with a very narrow snout. To speed things up, a monorail was built through the park to let guests travel quickly to the place where they could see the dinosaur fights or more high priority dinosaurs like the T-Rex. And then, the first combatants were airlifted towards the arena. Blood would soon be spilled. The pen offered no water, food or shelter. It was purely made for battle. The dinosaurs were visibly stressed out. Something that did not sit well with several animal rights activists all over the world. But pro supporters argued that the stress would only last a few hours as soon the fence between the two dinosaurs was removed. The Suchomimus and her opponent, the Baryonyx, an earlier introduced dinosaur, albeit that this one was incubated anew solely for the gladiator fight. The two dinosaurs stood head to head and bared their teeth at one another as soon flesh and skin were ripped off bone and screeches of pain filled the air. The audience loved it. Filming was allowed, and videos taken on people's phones went viral all over the world. Never before had they seen anything like this. Eventually the Suchomimus was victorious with the Baryonyx succumbing to her wounds. 
before heading to a bigger caliber dinosaur, another small-scale gladiator match was being prepared. This time, another new dinosaur was introduced, the small critter known as the Deinonychus. It would face off against the fan favorite, a Velociraptor. The crowds went wild when the announcement went public. Many went to see the combat live, and some even had brought signs to cheer on the raptor. Not many were cheering in the camp of the Deinonychus. The fin on her head and the bright color did not make her look very imposing or dangerous. The pen was so wide that when the fence was removed, it actually took a few minutes before the two dinosaurs had even noticed each other. But once they did notice, combat was full on. They looked at each other carefully. Attacks were quick and brief, both returning into a defensive position quickly after. The battle was in the end not as spectacular as the one before and people asked for larger scale combat soon. To everyone's surprise though, it was the Deinonychus who came out on top. The next battle would be a huge attraction. The giant T-Rex would finally see some action something everyone had wished for. There was a little hiccup though, as the incubated Rex was released too early and temporarily shared its incubation pen with a Stegosaurus scheduled for release that week. Before the Rangers could sedate the Rex, the damage had already been done. In a way, it was another gladiator match happening, only this was not for the public eye. A new Rex would be prepared for the match, and its enemy would be the Spinosaurus, the only good thing to come out of the awful Jurassic Park 3 movie. Its large fin and scary face made this creature resemble the scarier one to many. When both combatants were escorted, queues of up to five hours stood to get by the glimpse of the bloodshed. It was even televised live for people to see all over the world. Many cheered for the T-Rex, though the Spinosaurus did have her share of fans too. The battle was all the people could ask for. The two giants stormed at one another. Their ear-deafening roars caused trembles as tons of mass clashed with each other. They bit into one another multiple times. Blood was everywhere. It was an even match with both dinosaurs getting good hits in. The crowd went wild, and in the end, it was the T-Rex that was victorious, 
as it finished off its opponent with an enormous crack of the skull. The guests were satisfied, but Kanoa had one more trick up his sleeve. It was announced that the winner of this battle would face a new kind of dinosaur, an artificially bred one known as the Indominus Rex.